Morning. Uh, Hi. It's uh, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Can we just point to him, are you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just about his phone call, is it? Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. What has Kat told you? Where do I start? So then. Um. So you've made a call in to us about um that uh, something about kicking a ball across the fence and some YouTube posts. Okay, so okay, that's weird. Um, that, that's that's half the way. Okay. Ah, there's there's lots of little things. All this Andy up. This is just continuing obsessive antisocial behaviour, causing feeling non distress, etc., etc., etc. So, one of the events is. He has taught his child to use his football as a volleyball and he does it against our fence, not his fence. And it's a low fence and he keeps kicking the board against the fence. He's damaged the fence several times previously. And he just keeps doing it. And it's just needless, annoying, ridiculous and just done to intimidate. Yeah. He's got a whole garden he can use. And he always kicks the football against our fence. Mm -hmm. Not against the back fence, not against his own shed, not against his fence, always against our fence. Just because he knows it annoys us. So that's one thing, for example. In itself, not a crime, I understand that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's in his own quote unquote private garden, but when his activity in his private garden impacts my use of my garden, that's a problem. One, one little thing, that's one little thing. Um, he gets from the step ladder and looks over our six foot fetch fence very regularly for some reason. I don't know why he bothers doing that because he has a camera mounted to his drain pipe looking directly into my patio here. And you can see the entire patio, it's got no security function whatsoever. It can't help him prevent deter or prevent crime because no crime's ever been committed in this property. Yet, he has that anyway, which he uses for fear and long alarm and harassment and causing distress. Two weeks ago he made me fall off a ladder because he said the alarm will fall while I was working up there. But right over there, next to our boiler walkers, you can see us with that camera. I was in the hospital because of it. Um, he's always doing things which he thinks don't violate his bill conditions, which could be doing, but a little just ignores it and I'm getting because What's his bail conditions? We don't exactly know. We know he has them. We assume there's some because previous history has indicated that So he's been arrested recently though? Yeah. Yeah, okay. uh, four months ago I think it was. Right. Mm -hmm. Dad, we'll be just arrested. Mm. I think it's about four, four, five months ago. Anyway, it's still within the bell restriction period. Anyway. Yeah, there's a question. Um, when was he last arrested? Oh, well, maybe I can't remember. Or oh, whatever. Okay, fine. It doesn't matter, but it was. Um, and we're not always told. So. Yeah, we're, we're not always told, but we only ask them because obviously he has them. I'm not to make contact directly or indirectly. Blah 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 blah. His ones must be the same. They happened previously when he was arrested. Previously, we know from that p period in time, he did have bail restrictions, which said do not contact us directly, do not do things quite feel not distressed, etc., etc. Um, and you have the same in Asbo previously, so we assume that there's something similar, but we don't exactly know what they are because we haven't been told. But because we don't know exactly, we're not entirely sure what to report, which is again part of the problem. Um, personally, I think continuing to damage offences already damaged intentionally 
should be one of them. If it isn't, it should be. Again, that's one example. Um, so it's got a step ladder, steps up on the six foot six foot fence just there, and just mm -hmm. looks over because he's nosy. It's just creepy and weird. Um, there's lots of recent things, but they're all little things. But as far as I'm concerned, they all add up and demonstrate continuing obsessive antisocial behaviour, for great fear of not stress. Mm -hmm. um, He's always sneaking up on me, making loud noises, scaring the crap out of me, and I'm blind. It's not good. He knows not to do it. He's always killed me twice doing that now. Um, that's not sensitive. The, um, uh, okay, so, in no particular order, um, he started lighting fires next to an entrance up again, next to a shed. I.e. shed treated wood, piling up lots of crap next to a treated wood, next to the incinerator, adjacent to a nature reserve, adjacent to place of natural beauty, scientific interest, etc. But I'm deadly afraid of fire. I'm blind. I hate fire. Mm. There should not be any fire anywhere near a nature reserve, especially not near treated wood, especially not with treated wood around it, especially not unattended. Mm. Technically, it's not a crime. It's not because he's in his own pro property. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, according to Milton's website, there is no need for bonfires. Do not light bonfires. It says literally on the website, do not light, do not light bonfires. Do not set bonfires. Do not burn rubbish. There's no reason for it. It causes whole problems. Don't do it. Effectively, there's a bylaw which prevents it, but again, it's not statute, I understand that. But just because he does something with his own property doesn't mean it's not a crime. So, I don't want to hear any back for that. Sorry, but I don't. I've had enough of that in the last three years. He's almost killed me three times from his own property. He's shot hit air guns all over my property. I've got collections of pellets. He shot them from his property. Does it mean it's not a crime? It is a crime. Shooting a wear weapon across the boundary where you do not have explicit permission to shoot, even if it doesn't land, is a crime. So just because you start an activity in your own private property, quote unquote, does not mean it's not a crime. So none of that. I remember the hesitation and I start shouting at you. Don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, where was I? So, bonfire, dangerous activity, antisocial behaviour, air quality problems. Uh, I wear quality sensors, went off the scale yesterday because he's been burning what's left of his old fence, we think, with a kid around it. This is also a problem. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, the kid, either he or the kid knocked football over our fence, well, we weren't here. Uh, we found the football some sort of check the footage. Um, all came over, he got his step ladder over the three foot section of the fence, looking down trying to find the football. And we had a um, implement of hand of um, In the past, he has gone over property, trying to retrieve property or smash things. We've got thousands of videos of him doing that. Um, we thought about doing it. Yet. Luckily he didn't do it because there's now no defence there and now he knows not to because he got shot by it. But had a walk in bed, we walk over the fence, invaded the property, then making bell restrictions again, i.e. trespassing. Um, as a sealed entrance. He's no he's, he's no plug right of access to a property. Mm -hmm. So if it came over it would have been another bell, bell condition breach. Also would have created property damage because that trellis can't support his weight. Um, but he then got his child, put his child on the stepladder within four or five inches of a live electric fence conductor. There's seven signs or warnings and lights and everything that says, Warning, electric fence, do not climb. And he literally gets his child and puts his child next to the electric fence. He knows this electric fence, it's been there for years. I mean, irresponsible, stupid, reckless endangerment of a child, that should be a crime, even if it's in its own property or not. Endangerment of a child anywhere, doesn't matter where you do it, is a crime. So don't tell me that's not a crime, otherwise I'm going to have, another, have an argument. <coughs> if I walk past someone and they say, how do you put your child to sleep? Or one of them says to the other, I give them the gas. It doesn't matter if they're in public, it doesn't matter if it's a private conversation, 
Bats is a crime, mother's a duty to report it. Episode factor, that's how that works. Uh, he's taught his child to cry wolf. Um, when I was filling up a ladder, because he's killed half of it, I tried for help. Um, he now thinks it's funny, and then teach his child to shout, Help! 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 Not in, a, not in a playful, ironic way, in an actual, if anyone heard that, they would have come running, trying to go what's wrong with the kid. That must be something, and I don't like it. I think it's dangerous. It's also indirect communication. He knows what he's doing. He's doing it to take the piss out of me because he thinks it's funny, and he's teaching his child a very, very, very dangerous lesson. That should be a crime. Probably isn't, but it should be. In my, in my book, it should be. Um, um, his ex-wife is filming me in my bedroom. That should be a crime. I'm in my private property, in my domicile, while I have a very reasonable expectation of privacy. Okay, if I'm in my bedroom, I have a reasonable expectation of privacy, that is settled law. How, she is she, how is she filming you in your bedroom? From the garden? So that's the f*** he's done before, and he's continuing to do. Right. He's continuing to stalk me on YouTube. He must yeah. say on his bill condition, do not make contact directly or indirectly. That includes continuing to stalk me on YouTube. Is that the, the reason for the bad conditions we've got at the moment? Yeah. Um, well, is it, there's many reasons. Um, one, so, the last time he was arrested, he got on a, he got on a lap down the front, climbed onto our roof, I trespassed on our roof, and then chucked everything he could find, accumulated garbage for the last 50 years, because we haven't done much maintenance up there for a long time, so. Um, we had bird poo, rain, mud, muck, you know, normal stuff that accumulates in the gutter. Mm. He grabbed as much as he could find, including bits of tile, and threw it down onto my dad's car. That's when he was last arrested, because the, cause, cause the way things work, CCTV camera protected the car, looks at the car's window, which happened to reflect his reflection of doing it on our roof. And that's when he finally got arrested, but actually, finally, because of the crime, no one could actually ignore, despite the fact he's tried to kill me three times previously, including the next year, me. Um, anyway, lots of stuff. Mm. Um, if you want to see the videos, you can have them. I've got, um, send me that to link, I'll send them to you, but yeah. that's, that's the basic gist of it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No worries. Alright, right. take care. Day. See you later. Thank you. The, um, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can I just say that the notice we put on the board here, on yeah. here, it's because he's previously intercepted parcels due for here oh, and then right. held on to them. Okay. We we haven't named him, but that's yeah. Why. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. No worries. All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you.